Look at this. I'm coming through the power of the internet live to you. <laughs> that didn't age well. <laughs> Thermos jar here. Get yourself a coffee, tea, or any kind of beverage. We're gonna talk about our internet sensation today. Why am I making this video about him? To be honest, because I got very much interested in his uh, life. I got obsessed a little bit. I watched his documentary by Moller. The four hour gig, the, oh my god, there was so much detail there. If I started naming all of it, that would be easy. Five more hours of this video, but I am not doing that. This is a short video. This is just oversight on the situation and my final opinion. So, it was short story, who's Bookster? Bookster has created an account back in 2007 on YouTube, just like me, by the way. And he was making these small meaningless videos about him being making fun of himself as being fat showing he's fat eventually he would get some uh, popularity and start growing as a content creator and creating more intricacies in his content as in he would talk more to the people relate to people and give out uh, speeches of support like it's okay if you're sad it's gonna get better blah 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 kind of stuff and uh, that's the early life on YouTube. The later life, he actually really got strong in content and uh, popularity in 2010s. His career exploded and he was considered to be the best YouTuber, like Mr. Rogers of YouTube. He had that nickname, actually. But now, <laughs> thinking about it, it's insane how this person got that far. So... Somewhere later on, he would have a divorce with some kind of woman he was with. I didn't bother listening to that point. Who was it? But he had a divorce. He did some stuff. He started spending money crazy because it got to him that he's rich, he's powerful. And as any sociopath, usually who has power, will abuse the fuck out of it until he get caught. So that's pretty much what happened when he started complaining about his money problems and... Uh, internet personality called Keemstar has got him ability to fight on a ring after the ring he got a little bit more famous and uh, people started making jokes about him more and more but eventually he got in landed a gig on lol cow live which exposed his entire life in the most broad spectrum you can get so that's a short story of boogie like he how he practically has a content that's coming out of him is mostly by making a joke out of him at this point so what i'm getting here to i'm getting here to the point that a sociopath like boogie who practically created the empire called uh, boogie 292298 by just deceiving and lying to his audience and crying a lot of, a lot of fucking pity crying a lot of that is created by these factors. And this is pretty sad and crazy if you think about it. Because a lot of people watched him back in the day. I'm, I'm hoping that he didn't influence uh, most of these people to be similar. Like, pity me all the time. Pity me all the time. I'm bad. I had a hard time. But, uh, yeah. If, if not YouTube's celebrity status and the income he was getting from this stuff... He would have never reached this uh, heights, by the way. Uh, sociopaths don't really grow as personalities further than their teenage years. A sociopath never gets to be a full-blown, responsible human. They usually succumb to their own problems and fade away into extreme depressions and etc. Et but I'm not going to lecture you on psychology or on psychiatry. It's just plenty of information on the internet to dabble in and if you need you can talk to a specialist if that's the case my f my general thought is we spent four hours watching uh boogie's life and this these this this marks kept getting hit like we kept saying that that guy's clearly a psychi uh, uh sociopath and he has a narcissist and everything else possible with it he has no empathy he has nothing and we just came coming to that conclusion. Conclusion. I mean, is he a bad person in the end? I mean, he's ill considerate, that's for sure. But I don't think he would harm anybody directly. He's more harming from the core. Like, he manipulates you so you feel shit. 
but he would never do anything to you know harm your life i think he would be scared too much because people like him don't really act much so where am i going what's my opinion on all of this i'm a bit sad that people like this are having so much exposure specifically now since youtube is exploding in drama mostly and only drama actually means anything on this platform no other content gets any attention that's pretty sad actually as an as a content creator who actually created a youtube account the same fucking year as that guy i just didn't have enough brains to you know grow my channel back then it would have been a really good idea but i'm trying it now see how it goes but uh, going back to the boogie story and my opinion about it, well, yeah, it's just really sad that a personality like this is actually influencing hundreds of thousands of individuals right now, and it all boils down to just making fun of him. It's actually sad of the. I'm sad about the process of this happening because the people are, who are watching him are not watching to get a positive or example for themselves on and their children for what not to be they're actually watching this as a joke so this is practically a mock the cripple kind of thing even though i wouldn't say boogie is a cripple but it's getting to the point that we're just making a village idiot uh, make a fo make a fool of himself so we can have a little laugh about it it's a human notion to do such things but i personally think like he said he wants to get off the internet and not be part of it. If he ever did that, that would be probably the best thing he could do. But he'll never do that. It's it's just... It, he actually said something that would change a lot. If he ever disappeared, it would have been the best thing he, he could do. Because what he's spawning right now in the audience, in the content, just shows that... The world has not changed and uh, him and the platform he's on, he's just a fucking scum. And he's showing others how to be similar, especially the younger ones, the more impressionate ones. Which is sad. With his low, low recent crypto scam, just shows that you don't have to work. You just scam your audience. Build up an audience. Scam them. The uh, cancer thing is another thing. He shows that lying is... As long as you're not caught, it's okay. Which he did for many, many years until he got caught by somebody who's more witty. It's just an uh, example for not what to be, in my opinion. But uh, today's world treats this as a circus, as a joke, as a laugh. So yeah, that's my final opinion. I would say that people should not watch that. You shouldn't really put uh, any eyes on it. Stay away from it for your own health. And your own children's health. This is toxic shit. And on that notion, I'm gonna end this video. Because there's nothing to speak about that individual. Maybe he was once a good person. Still is, maybe. But he fell into the rabbit hole of deceit, fraudulence, and disgust. This was Thermos Jar. Have a nice day.